One, two, and three. Let's start. One. To Harold Doobie, two, age is just a number. Three. He's 91, and with the help of a caregiver, he lives entirely on his own, golfing, mowing his lawn. I think I'm on barb time right now. <laughs> and still going strong. Excellent. I'm sure there are some things that I have to give up, but I don't know what they are. For decades, scientists at UT Medicine have been working to help more people live like Harold. Their work in exercise science, genetics, and pharmaceuticals has led the way in discovering what appears to be a miracle drug. A pill called rapamycin, which Dr. Dean Kellogg says can do things no one thought possible. Alter the aging process. Rapamycin appears to slow the aging process. Dr. Kellogg and his colleagues are testing rapamycin on eight South Texans. In four months, those patients' minds sharpened, their immune systems improved, and their muscles got stronger. There was one gentleman who went from 17 to 18 seconds to walk 40 feet to seven to eight seconds to walk 40 feet. If there's a fountain of youth, Kellogg says this pill could be the first step. Here in this UT Medicine lab, his colleagues are taking the next step, using small animals to find the exact genes that influence aging and alter them. Sometimes we're talking about doubling, tripling, or even more of the lifespan of the animal. In people, those studies could push average lifespan to 110, 120, or further. 15 repetitions. Someday. For now, one. they say active people two, like Harold are already three. doing it right. If you eat less and exercise more, you can extend lifespan and health span. Rather than wait for the future, they say walk 20 minutes a day right now. And as Harold puts it, be grateful for each moment. I say a little prayer like, please Lord Jesus guard me through the night, wake me with the morning light. Then he wakes me with the morning light. Now it's still hard to tell when a lot of these experiments will bear fruit, but rapamycin is the closest. It's already FDA approved as an immunosuppressant for transplant patients. Scientists are still testing the side effects as an anti-aging pill.